Hello, I'm here to show how to use the Gem Bow Cutter today. This is our medium size from the large bow set. And if I just turn that over, you can just see here at the back of the cutter, there is a handle just protruding out. This little handle actually slots into one of these holes in the gem pad. This is the correct size to go into that little hole there. So I'm just gonna push that into there. I'm just gonna run a little tiny bit of petal base, which is a release agent just across the cutter. That just helps keep the paste coming out nice and easily. Now I'm going to place my paste just across the cutter. I'm using flour paste or gum paste. And I'm just now, I've placed that over there, I'm just gonna roll my rolling pin straight across the cutter and the paste. And you can just see that's defined straight away through there. Just run my finger around there just to make sure that I've got a nice clean cut edge right the way round. If you need to, you can just replace your rolling pin across there if you feel you need to, as many times as you want until you're happy with the result. And then just pull away the excess paste. Again, just to find the area if you need to. Now I'm just gonna use a scriber tool just to help myself remove the paste from the cutter. So this is the main section of my bow. I'm just gonna place that there for you to be able to have a little look at. And this is going to create the loops either side. This is gonna be my tails. If I just place that the other way around so that you can see that properly. And this is going to be my center section, like so. So I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar glue just to the center. And I'm just gonna flip my paste straight over into the center and the same the other side. I just pull that up. And then you can see straight away that's created our little bows either side, our little ribbon loops and then we're ready then to flip it over if you would like and our little tails just sit underneath. Now our little centre section, a little bit of glue onto here and this can just sit across and tuck and around and that's literally how we create our little bow. Now these can dry or they can be glued into place when these are onto your cake or onto your plaque and that's how to make a little gem bow.